What up everybody, Joe from Mojo Break Gaming here. I got another video for the Terrier Mon EX2 build from Digimon Digital Hazard. This is something I quickly came up with to kind of give an idea of how to run the new Terrier Mon deck. Just wanted to show you what my perspective was on it and see how it does compared to you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this build. Let me know how you would build it, what things you would do differently, etc. This is the build. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our four eggs here. We've got Gummy Mon. Gummy Mon is when opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, you draw one. That is pretty easy to do in the Gargamon deck. If you want to run a fifth egg, you can. I think I'm going to be choosing the Minomon to get that 1,000 buff in case I need to swing with my champions or my ultimates more so than my Mega if I don't quite get into the Mega because the Mega is sometimes going to be Digivolving in passing turn. So if I need to get that extra 1,000 buff, I'll go ahead and use the Minomon. Another good one would be like BT7 to get you more draws or or just run the four gummy mons there. Next up, four terrier mons. This is the EXO2 one. When you play green tamer, you gain one memory. So if this is on the field after you push up from egg area, then you can go ahead and slap down a tamer. You gain that memory, which is pretty good. There's some really good tamers for the terrier mon build, and it also has a really good damage buff effect. When you suspend an opponent's Digimon on your turn, you get 2,000 damage on the inherit. So four of those. I feel like that is going to be very, very helpful, especially when you're swinging over some powerful Digimon in this meta that have some high DP. Next up, we'll talk about the four Terrier Mons from BT8. This is a good searcher. He helps you find your Rapid Mon or Gargomon after revealing the top five. And then you can place the remaining at the bottom of your deck. This is going to be really good if you're stuck in those problems where you just need to get some searches or you don't have the best hand and you have some Terrier Mons to slap down. Those are really, really good to help you get your searching going. Don't recommend that if you're still looking for a tamer. And that's the downside. If you don't have your tamer, he could hurt you there. So you might have to resort to just going into that draw rather than search. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and play is the two terrier mon. Two terrier mon is a you can't gain memory except with tamer effects. So this is your memory blocker. I run two of those. I don't run a play set of those for the reason that memory blockers get destroyed really easily in this format. So just with the minusing DP or just deleting level threes or deleting things with 3000 or less DP, they don't live very often. And in fact, what a lot of people end up doing is they delete these first, then pop their boost or then gain their memory afterwards. Two, just in case if we can get them stuck and have them make sure that they focus on the Terrier Mon. But other than that, we'll run two of those. Another two Digimon rookies that I really, really like are the Pulse Mons. What I really love about them are the all turns effect. Your Digimon basically gets 1000 DP for each of their suspended Digimon. And sometimes when you go into that Gargomon, the level six, the Mega Gargomon, and if you pass turn, it makes it to where they can't unsuspend during their unsuspend phase. So you get comfortable with that damage buff there on an all turns. So I really like Pulse Mon for that. I might up it to some more, but we'll try off the 2-2 for now. And that's going to be my rookie lineup. Coming up next, we have one, two, three, four of the Gargomon EX2s. This one's really good because he basically reduces the Digivolve cost if you have a green tamer in play so he can be a one Evo. And it doesn't have to be off of a Terrier Mon, so that's what's cool about him as well. You can use them and splash him in other kinds of green decks. And if you use Tamer Willis to suspend or reduce his Digivolve, he can be potentially a zero Evo. Very similar to Nokia. There's like a lot of like BT5-ish Nokia playing going around this format. So Gargomon is gonna be a good piece to get, you know, just cheap reduced costs. Another good level four to have is your BT8 uh, Rapid Mon Super Rares. Rapid Mon obviously works very well with Terrier Mon. He gets that Digivolve three rather than being a four. He gets to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon for each tamer they have in play. And basically you can just tear it up with this rapid mon with its effect so it's a really really good effect if you're just trying to like minus some like ultimates or minus just some digimon to kind of get an advantage and swing over especially if you're getting the buff there with terrier mon this thing can get 8,000 and swing over something at 8,000 uh, dp and if you have the mino mon you can basically get 9,000 dp on this swing with rapid mon so rapid mon is really good i run four of those and then i also 
also run two of the BT3 Gargomons. What I really love about this is that it's a one Evo. Really, really good. And with Willis, you can make it a zero Evo as well. So that complements with the Gargomon. This one's good to just uh, digivolve in your egg area too, just for a guaranteed one Evo. And you get that 1000 DP for uh, each of your opponent's suspended Digimon. So if they have two suspended Digimon, it gets a 2000 buff. So that's also really, really good. 4,000 is a bit of on the low DP, which is kind of why I like the Terrier Mon with this one and that Mino Mon sometimes to get him to 7,000 potentially. Just if you can swing over something at 6,000 or, you know, just trying to get something small off the board. He needs some help in the damage department if you decide that you have to swing with him. Up next, I'm going to go ahead and use the two Arbo Mons. It's basically your hybrid for game. Uh, I want to see two of those because I'm going to be running a lot of tamers in this build. So two is probably a cool number for me to see uh, the hybrid for game. Next up, I'm going to be running four EX2 Rapid Mons. This is now the level five area and we have green tamer in play. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon on Digivolve. So definitely got to run those four 7k DP um, Gargamons up next. We're gonna go ahead and run three Mega Kabu Terrymons. This is where I'm trying to get a little experimental with the deck here. What I really love is just the inherent effect. When you delete an opponent, you can trash the top of their security stack. And I feel like that's really, really important. You wanna make sure you don't check into those strong security cards like Omnimons or Defeat or Flame Health Scythe or Mega Death. You know, those are really, really scary cards. And just by being able to trash something on attacking a Digimon, I kind of like it a little bit better than piercing just because you don't have to actually check the security. You can just trash it. And another level five I like to run in this deck is Argomon Digiabsorption minus three, which is really good. Get you a free Evo if you can, if you can use this effect. And what I like about this one, it has the inherent effect, which is why you can only run one of these because on attacking with your level six, you can play a level three from your hand suspended without playing its cost. So you can go ahead and play like one of those three Terry Mons would be really, really good. So Argomon works really well with the terrier mons there going into the level sixes i'm going to be running four of the mega gargle mons reason being it's the ex2 boss monster for this deck and it basically lets you suspend your opponent's digimon for each tamer that you have in play on digivolve and like i said before they do not unsuspend during their unsuspend phase which really really helps with the pulse mon effect as well so it gives you that thousand dp in case you need to protect yourself in case they you know push up in their egg area go into a high dp and you got they still have like a one or two digimon that are suspended it can give it that opponent's turn buff which is really really cool and then when he attacks he can uh, return a opponent's suspended digimon that's DP less than or equal to this Digimon's DP, which can happen pretty easily if you get the Terrier Mon buff, the Gargo Mon buff, and you know, and the Rapid Mon buff gets you that Security Plus One, which is really cool. I forgot to mention Security Plus One there. So he's gonna get probably around 15 to 16,000 DP, and you can basically return any of those cards, any of those Digimon back to their hand if you're able to get that successful attack off. The other two boss monsters I run is the Mega Gargomon from uh, BT3. He's just basically like a little bit of a weaker version of what that does. He just suspends one of one of their opponent's Digimon. Um, and it doesn't unsuspend during their next unsuspend phase. What's cool about this one is he gets security plus one when they're suspended So he can go for like a quick, you know, few checks there And if you get rapid mon that's three checks or if you get a mega carbo mon, you know trashing He's cool mega gargomon. He helps you, you know, finish the game faster and he works with the whole gargomon uh, Name which we're which we really really want. We don't want to like bottom deck some of those So having another gargomon is good next up. We have Willis Willis is your BT8 guy. He is on play. You can hatch a digi egg from an empty space. We might not be using all that effect, but it is nice to still have it because that could be, you know, it's like a mini Mimi with an on play effect. It's a mini version of Mimi here and he works well with the uh, Gargomon and Rapidmon because you can tap this. He's basically like also like a Nokia. He's like Mimi and Nokia fused together. It's pretty cool. Um, you can suspend this tamer to reduce its digivolution cost by one. I run four of those because you would love to see that, especially if it gets checked in security. Also, Henry Wong is another four. We run four of these tamers. So there's eight tamers in this deck profile in total. So you want to see this guy as much as you can too, because he lets you suspend. If you're attacking with a Rapidmon or Gargomon, you can tap this tamer 
to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, and that's what would trigger the Mega Gargomon effect to basically return it back to their hand and just, you know, get rid of a good, strong boss monster if you need to do that as well. So if you're tied with DP, you can go ahead and tap this, return that, and, you know, check whatever you want to get. So you can potentially get two bodies off the field there and, you know, Mega Kabutirmon triggers the trash or get the security checks wherever you want to target. Next up, a good staple is Hidden Potential Discovered. This one lets you reduce your Digivolution cost by five, so you can go into Gargamon for free right there if you suspend one of your Digimon. Let's say you have Terrymon there, tap Terrymon, go into Gargamon for free, and just do a bunch of nasty combos right there. So Hidden Potential is really, really good. It is a staple for the green. That's why it's also limited to just one. So you're running Gar Argomon and Hidden Potential, two really, really crazy cards. Next up, I'm gonna run three Memory Boost of green. There might be situations where I just have Henry on the field and I only get to three on my turn. And having a green memory boost in play would help me bump up to five in case I need to digivolve into the boss monster EX2 Mega Gargomon for five in that scenario. So having these boosts here would really, really help. It also helps with your searches. If you're bricking, you can just, you know, go into one of these and just find some of the pieces that you need to find in this deck. So, and that's pretty much the deck profile right there. 50 cards. It's pretty straightforward. And it's just, it's all Terriermon, Gargomon, Rapidmon themed of a deck so it's all within its own archetype all cards really generally work together we splash a few extra cards in there to kind of give it some extra buffs and uh, hit it with different angles so hopefully you enjoyed this deck profile let me know what you guys think again in the comment section below how you feel about terriermon and gargomon working in the ex2 deck go ahead and let me know in the comment section below thank you guys for watching this video be sure to give this video a like subscribe and we're going to be launching more deck builds for ex2 and future builds for bt9 etc etc thank you guys for watching i'll see y'all in the next video tomorrow with a new build take care